Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the general settings for WordPress. So we're going to start here in our dashboard and I'm going to go ahead and hover over settings here and since general is the first choice I can just click on settings or I can click on general here. Now there's not a lot here, this is a pretty short page, but there are some things that are very important that you do want to pay attention to when you first get started with your website. Um, at first, the the one you want to look at is the site title. Um, because this is our, our video uh, creation site that we've set up, uh, we've uh, called it for video by default, but we can change this to whatever. So let's say I'm the, the Mallville Public Library. Um, this is something that you'll want to fill in and make sure is correct because it will probably not be the name of your library when you first get here. Now the other one you want to change is the tagline. This is going to be a uh, kind of a subheading under your the title. So this is the Mallville Public Library and by default it's going to say just another WordPress website. You do want to change this. Now you can remove it completely if you want. You don't have to have a subtitle. And when we get to themes, you might uh, reconsider your subtitle, but I do suggest you, you have one here. And so I'm going to say something like serving uh, our community since 1972. Okay, and you know, you could say the best library in town, you know, whatever it is you wanted to say. Okay, now the next two are the WordPress address and the site address. Now in this case, these are not going to be filled in with numbers. These are going to be the URLs of your actual site. You do want to leave these alone. Um, if you change these, and in fact you might not be able to, but if you were able to and you did change these, you could completely break your site. So leave those alone. Okay, the next one is email address. This is going to be the master email address associated with the site. Um, if there are any problems, if new users are created, things like that, this is where that email is going to go. By default, this is probably going to have my email address in there. Please change this. Please change this to one of the administrator's email accounts. So that's probably you, but uh, whoever that is, the main administrator for the site, your email address should be put in here. Um, the next two are membership and new user default role. Uh, membership, you do not need to do that. These are public websites that you're putting together. You don't want to have to cause people to register to be able to see your site. So leave that one unchecked. Um, new user default role, you can change this if you've watched our uh, users video. You, uh, We've talked about the different levels. This is just the default level for a new uh, user on your site. You can go ahead and leave this alone and then just change it on a user by user basis. Okay, scrolling down a little further, now we've got some options that are kind of completely up to you, uh, with the exception of time zone. You do want to set the appropriate time zone. Most of us here in Nebraska are in the Chicago uh, or Central time zone. Uh, those of you out in the Panhandle will want to change this to Denver time or the Western, uh, or excuse me, the Mountain time zone. And that way, uh, the dates and times that show up on your, your content will be accurate. Uh, the next one is the date format. How would you like the date to appear? So when it says posted on, you can have it say September 16, 2014. You can have it say 9 slash 16 slash 2014. You can put in European mode. You can customize it if you like. Um, personally, I prefer spelling it out. You can change this if you want. Same thing with the time format. It's going to say something like posted at 2.30 p.m. or you can capitalize or you can put it in 24 hour time or you can customize that. And if you do want to choose the customs, you can click on this link for documentation on how to actually do that. These two fields, completely up to you. Lastly, um, because we're in the U.S., generally our calendar weeks start on Monday. You can go ahead and change this to Sunday if you prefer, um, uh, or um, you know Wednesday for some unknown reason. But generally, Sunday or Monday is going to be your option. So make the changes you need to make here. Uh, change the options that you want to change, and then when you're all done, make sure you click this Save Changes button down here at the bottom. It will say up here, Settings Saved, and that's it. Thanks for watching.